Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is the beautiful electronics block and my name is Max Koshu. Look at this crazy thing. This is huge. It is from Fernseh GmbH. They have sold uh, television equipment to the large broadcast TV stations in Germany. Look at this. The dimensions are amazing. The cabinet, the uh, metal enclosure is wonderful. There are some instruments which are probably for PAL, for PAL video. This is the European video standard. It was the European video standard. Uh, it comes from the same collection in Italy from where I have got the Siemens device, this um, Kontaktfehler-Suchgerät. Well, the handles are amazing. I think uh, this was inside a rack, probably a, a mobile rack or even a studio trolley. I am not sure. On the rear side we have four 13 stecker. These are shielded banana plugs. And of course the whole system is with 75 uh, ohms impedance. The fan is broken. Oh, do you want to have a look inside? Are you crazy? Me too. Fernseh GmbH. It reminds me that I was in a museum in Vienna, which had a whole studio built up with equipment like that. This was a great trip with my little daughter. Something that I really love to remember. How to open it up? This was easy. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Unbelievable. Look at that. There are dozens of beautiful components like Siemens MKH capacitor, some germanium diodes, and on the other side, we should see some tubes. Seems like this chassis can be removed out of the uh, cabinet. There are two screws. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Crazy stuff. So here's the other side and I'm very curious. I hope to see some tubes, uh, a large power transformer, some beautiful parts, probably some faulty power supply caps, electrolytics. And yeah, let's have a look. Ah. <laughs> I can already see tubes. Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! This is this is crazy. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Wow! Wonderful. There are two large power transformers. Um, hmm, this is most likely the mains input with 220 volts input, 240 and uh, 120, 110. And the output, this is probably unknown voltage. 
And this most likely is the uh, filament voltage for the heater of the tubes. We need uh, low voltages with a very high current. And that's exactly what we see here. Uh, this could be anode voltage though. But this one is definitely heater voltage. 6.3 volts, I guess. With oh, 20 amps, maybe. Who knows? Huge diodes. Here is a wonderful voltage regulator power supply. Linear voltage regulator with the E235L tube. And there should be a voltage stabilizer. Here it is. Uh, look how shiny this cap is. Wonderful. Look, so many tubes. This is crazy. I see a lot of E80 CF. Uh, this is a tube with um, uh, with a triode and a pentode in one tube. Let's pull one out. Ah. This is wonderful quality. Ooh, it is heavily used. I don't think this is still fine. Uh, let's see. And look at the glass. We have a so-called pinched waste glass. Here's the production code and it shows Valvo. D is Valvo. The little system on the left is a triode and the larger one is a pentode. I have now put the tube into my Rötest tube tester. We will now search for the E80CF. Here it is. Let's go. That's it for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this episode. Please put a thumbs up. This helps me a lot and you can donate on Patreon or with PayPal. You can even uh, send one euro or one dollar each month or you can simply write a nice comment. Yeah, see you again soon. Bye.